looking at the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And look, I'll be honest with you guys. Initially, when I saw this phone on photos and videos and stuff, it looked pretty similar to the S23 Ultra. So I was like, okay, might not be as excited. But man, the second I actually unboxed this phone, I gotta say, like, I, it's won me over. Right off the bat, I'll tell you some of the things, like when you pick it up in your hand, it genuinely feels, for some reason, a lot more premium. Um, I don't know how to explain it. Maybe it's the more boxy finish that they've chosen to go with. Now, I know in the past, I've stated this in many of my videos, I don't really like that curved screen where the screen kind of bleeds over into the edge. Sure, it makes it look like there's no bezels and whatnot, but there's something classy about having an edge-to-edge -edge flat panel display. Like, it just looks so good. One thing I will say with all, you know, sharp-edged phones, the one thing that I don't like is the fact that these corners really dig into your palm. Over time, it kind of gets annoying. The good news is the phone is so big that half the time you're gonna be holding it like this and that corner is not even gonna find its way to your palm. So that's the good news, okay? The screen, this uh, this whole package, it has me blushing. I love it, I, I, I really dig it. Now, another new thing is we have titanium sides, similar, uh, didn't somebody do that? We <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, now the titanium body. Now this doesn't actually result in too much of a weight reduction. It's about like two grams or something. So very minute, but it does add to the more robustness of the actual phone. I do like how it feels in your hand and uh, the edges. I mean, the titanium sides do make it look a lot more premium. I will say that. The titanium has this like warmth to it that I really dig. Also the S24 Ultra is slightly thinner compared to the prior generation. Do I feel it when I hold it? Um, it's not noticeable. I will say that but I mean all in all like I gotta say the whole package in your hand this phone feels incredible like I actually genuinely want to throw my sim card in here the second I picked it up and I'm like okay this is gonna be my daily driver now I I like it that much and that's big because I'm usually an iPhone user right out of the box one thing to know is you actually have to go into settings you have to turn the screen resolution up to the quad HD plus otherwise out of the box it was at full HD plus. This screen just looks absolutely incredible. The 120 hertz screen, which is an absolute must for all devices. I don't care what anybody else says, but it is 2024 now. The 120 hertz is a must for your device. Like once you go 120 hertz, you can't go back. Everything is nice and smooth. There's no lag, there's no hiccups. And you can really see the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip putting in the work. Even like if I'm doing hard scrolls like this, sometimes no matter how fast the phone is, you're gonna have slight hiccups, slight tearing in the screen while it's scrolling. With this, it's it's buttery smooth. I can open apps, close apps. There's like no issues. Everything is super, super quick. Also something to know, if you like this wallpaper and a whole bunch of the other ones that I'm showing you right now, these are all photos that I personally took on a phone, made them into a wallpaper pack. So if you're interested, you can check the link in my description down below and pick up the wallpaper pack for yourself. Now the Snapdragon 8 chip also gives this Wi-Fi 7. I think a lot of us are still stuck on hardware to allow Wi-Fi 6, so Wi-Fi 7 is just future proofs you a little bit. You also get better speakers on this phone. Always super tough to convey to you guys. This is a vlog, by the way, that I uploaded recently. Gotta get to the airport. Pretty good, right? I, I, I'm impressed. Now, speaking of the vlog, I want to quickly share my experience at CES visiting one of the booths for a company called Aper, who is also the sponsor of this video. And I want to talk about their life-changing robots that they have coming out. Aper is a company that makes some really cool products that simplify your life, like pool cleaners. They just launched this new scuba series, including the S1 and the S1 Pro, which are some of the most advanced cordless robotic pool cleaners. The S1 can clean up to 1,600 square feet with a 3.5 liter debris bin and 150 minute battery life, whereas the S1 Pro adds app control with Hydrocom 1, where these wireless buoys will communicate underwater with the robot. It can also clean up to 2150 square feet and can even do horizontal waterline cleaning. They also showed off this really cool lawnmower that's coming up and Oh my goodness, this would be so cool and save me so much time. So if you want these robots to do your job for you, then go ahead and check out the link in the description down below and get yourself an Aper. Now back to the video. The biggest improvement Samsung claims is thermals as well as battery life. Now that's yet to be seen. I'll be doing a day in my life with this phone. I'll be doing a bunch more reviews and stuff like that. So make sure you guys are sub to this channel if you're not, but we're gonna test it out fully and talk about how it feels to go from iPhone to Samsung in 2024 
and which phone I actually prefer better. Okay, next I wanna talk about the color. This is called a titanium gray, and oh man, this is a beautiful, beautiful color. You know I'm a huge fan of this color. The Samsung one is similar but slightly warmer. I don't know if you can tell that difference. Look at the way that the light bounces off. It's a little more golden basically. As for the actual sides, this is the iPhone. This is the S24 Ultra. The sides are also slightly a bit warmer compared to the iPhone. Overall, I gotta say this is a fantastic color. Now I know Samsung always does a great job giving color options to people. So I gotta tell you right off the bat, the colors that Samsung's offering here, I really like that yellow color, but these are the Samsung exclusive on their website. That green, that blue, that orange, oh man, I like all three of those colors, they're fantastic. I don't know about you guys, but I generally like to go caseless and uh, screen protectorless on all of my phones, and I usually end up paying the price in terms of like, I don't get like breakage or anything like that, but my, my screens get quite scratched up. So I'm gonna be interested to see how this screen holds up over time. Samsung has said that the Corning Gorilla Armor on this is four times stronger for scratch resistance, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how this comes out. Now, one big improvement for me personally comes with the cameras. Now, of course, you still have that same 200 megapixel wide angle lens, the main camera that's there, that's unchanged. You also have that 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, but the telephoto lenses have changed. You have the 3X 10 megapixel lens, but now you also have this new lens here, which is going to give you 50 megapixels at 5X. Now, if you watched my previous videos, I've talked about how much more I prefer that 5X zoom range because the 3X wasn't as far enough, right? Like you get a little bit far and it was fine, but you don't get that like really shallow depth of field, that portrait look. And with the Samsung, you had, other than the 3X, you had the 10X, which would go like really far and it would kind of be pointless for us because who's, who's shooting 10X photography out on the streets, right? So the 5X zoom, is absolutely clutch. I think it's the best move Samsung could have made here. Another thing that I like that Samsung mentioned was now the screen goes up to 2600 nits of brightness. This is absolutely insane. So if you use your phone outdoors quite a bit, it's gonna come in clutch. I think it has like the brightest screen on a phone right now. Camera can't even uh, cover that. Like it, it's so bright. Another thing that Samsung really hit home, Samsung literally mentioned AI like a thousand times at their event and they have really backed that up with uh, quite a few AI features which look fantastic. Let's say I'm on YouTube and I see like these pair of headphones press down here and then I can literally circle anything there and now on that screen itself, you can scroll to see what exactly that product is. The amount of times I know for a fact this will come in clutch. Now let's say I'm into watches and I come here and I see, oh, that's a really cool watch. So I can go ahead, press here. I'm gonna circle that watch. Boom, that's the right one. I know because I, I love watches. The two-door Black Bay 58 and boom you get all the information that you want. Really cool, very handy, actually practical, life use case AI. Okay, now let's quickly talk about what specs are available and which one should you get. So 256 GB should be enough, but because these phones use up so much space in terms of you know memory, if you use your camera a lot, then I would probably just go with the 512 GB. That should put you in the safe range in case if you need anything more. Honestly, if you're on the fence about picking up this phone, I think now's the best time to actually get it because if you pre-order right now, you get 512 gigabytes for the same price as the 256 gigabytes, which is awesome. And I will probably use the links that I have in the description down below. That way you can also pre-order one of these um, three special colors directly from Samsung. So go ahead, check out that link in case you're interested in picking up this phone. Also, another good reason to pre-order right now using the links in the description down below is you get a whole bunch of different offers. Like you can get 50% off your Samsung Care Plus, 50% off like the earbuds, the cases. Overall, I gotta say, I'm thoroughly impressed with this phone. I thought it would be very similar to the S23 Ultra, and in ways it is, but I feel like Samsung has really improved on the design, the camera, the screen, and the AI features and everything, and the internals as well to make a very cohesive product that's going to be, it's honestly, I feel like it's gonna sway a lot of people away from other options out there in the market this year. So if you're looking for a new phone, 
this might be a fantastic option. But yeah, stay tuned. Make sure you guys are subbed because I'll be making more videos on these. Now, if you like this video, you're definitely gonna like this one here or check out this one where I attend CES and I show you all the latest and greatest tech that's gonna be coming out in 2024. It's kind of like a vlog. We meet some really cool YouTubers and we check out some really cool products. So yeah, if you're interested, it's over here and I will see you guys there. Peace.